welcome, 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 welcome back to another vlog on So baby do weather, the climate, things like that, get me down. No! And guys, today is a treat because, 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 all right, all right, all right, calm, calm down, girl, calm down, girl. <laughs> guys, look at the, uh, uh, look at my hair. All right, guys, with all seriousness, put fun and joke aside. Side, guys, today is not like your typical vlog. It's a hair. I think I'm gonna call it wash day routine without showing you how I wash my hair because, girl, my bathroom is kind of awkward and ain't nobody wanna show that. So, I'm gonna talk about my hair. I think I'm gonna do a length check first and foremost because this would be my first official hair vlog. <laughs> and I've been talking to like, one or two friends and you know, I've been inquiring about my hair journey, what things that I've been doing and so forth. So I was like, why not just do a vlog about it? And you know. <laughs> but guys, before I get into that, look at my skin. Can we just talk about my skin for a minute? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, I've been using the turmeric face mask. And guys, mm, I must say, I can I, I can do a vlog about it if you want, you know, how I make it, application and so forth, before and after, yeah, yeah. Guys, if you'd like to see me do that vlog, put it in the comment section. Measure this one. So I'm gonna tuck this away. Wrap it around and I'm gonna have to use my tail comb uh, and guys I really don't use comb on my hair I because it can only I mean other people might be okay with it but I don't um, I'm not gonna break my hair I finger detangle uh, I haven't washed my hair in about two months. Yeah, 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 I know. You're gonna say, oh, you're nasty, blah, 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 whatever, it works for me. And the only reason why I'm washing my hair today is because I saw some pimples here, and that's an indication whenever my hair needs to be washed. Because um, what I've been doing so far is just uh, moisturizing my hair so I'll, I'll, I have some deep conditioner in water uh, this is my fluid so I have deep conditioner in here uh, peppermint is uh, peppermint essential oil in here uh, water yeah so three ingredients spritz my hair and uh, then I have this brook oil in my mason jar not much enough because I gave my mom some but you know can always make some so in here I have fenugreek oil I got sweet almond oil I have grapeseed oil coconut oil olive oil uh, I have neem oil and castor oil that's my growth oil so if you follow um, natural hair uh, youtubers <laughs> a few of them there's this uh, sulfur 8 hair recipe hair growth recipe thing 
which I did. Um, there's peppermint oil, there's Vicks, there's Sulfur A. Um, I think I put the hair growth oil in there too and mixed it and I kept it on the refrigerator. So now when I use it on my scalp, there's this cooling sensation. Oh my god. And I realized that I really don't have. I would have dry scalp when I have a oil for a good while, like maybe four days. Uh, so I've been using it. My hair stays moisturized longer. Um, so I'll show you how I do it, but I'm just, I just want to talk to you guys about how I get it done. So normally, after I spritz my hair with the um, leave-in conditioner water. What I do is uh, use my growth oil and then I use shea butter and this is the brand that I have, Ashanti Shea Butter. Um, I've had this a month or two and this is like a little bit goes a long way. So. That's what I've been using. So I use it after I use the oil, I use that on it to seal the oil in and my hair stays moisturized and soft. And these plants I've had in maybe a month. Um, because I replant them. Uh, before that I had them in about six weeks. And what I did was to see guys, what I did was to plant the hair wash your hair with the plaits and moisturize them and yeah they get frizzy but after oiling it I'm um, using my satin or silk scarf to tie it down and put it on my bonnet by in the morning it's like it's doable it's wearable you know yeah so I've been doing that for six weeks and it got to the point where I could hold it here and you could see the amount of growth I had at the root so I felt like it was time to plant it again I did not use a comb so what I did was to moisturize it here with water again um, oil the scalp each part and in between where the plaits are so I would undo one plait and just plait it like this oil the scalp massage the section plait it back and then I would you know put it away and when I'm finished with the entire hair what I do is just I catch it in one top the ends away and that's it I know it might be a boring hairstyle for some people but it works for me I retain length and yeah so the only thing I want to work on is having uh, thicker hair because my hair isn't it's high density it looks thick but it's not you know yep so I'm gonna I have trust in Musty here, my tape measure, my measuring tape, however you want to call it. I'm going to see how long this piece is and then I'm going to take a piece from the back and we're going to see. That's the two pieces we're working with. So, if you see, it's at the root here and Behave thyself, I command thee. Yeah, so. Alright, so I'm gonna let go the root, right? See? And I just wanna check where it is so you guys can see. Alright, so it's. See, this is the end of my hair, right? I don't know if you can see it. Alright, so the end of my hair is showing at 40, 44, 44, see, Ooh. 44, alright, you guys can see, which is, 44 is 17 and 3 quarters, yeah, so the front part here is 17 inches and three quarters. I think this one. I think it's this one. Yeah. 
So let me show you what the back looks like. Right, so this is bra strap length. Let's measure it right here. So I'm gonna pull it out and we'll see how much that measures. Again, tail comb, which I dropped. Thirteen and a half inches. Um, here's another one. I measured it the other day, and it was I think fifteen inches. So I have different hair lengths all over my hair. It is. But having on record, the front is seventeen and three quarters, and the back is uh, thirteen and a half. Um, because of the shrinkage and so forth when I moisturize my hair, I might not do twists, but I, I, I like twists and plaits, so I might just do it. Alright guys, so I'm gonna, here, it's on my, my breast, and at the back, let me show you close up. So, let me Don't show off here. Don't you show off right now. Alright. So I'm gonna go on a little bit. It's definitely pull it has past my bra. So you guys can see. Yeah, it has passed past my bra. And my head is looking forward, it's not bending backwards like this, it's forward. It's straight up. Yeah. So that's the hair. Oh, so guys shrinkage it's my short-term goal waist length and then I think I want to go thigh but your waist length then but um, and then I'm gonna I want to go to thigh and then knee and I think after that, yeah, I would have achieved my goal. Uh, if it grows <laughs> longer than that, then it is what it is, because, you know, I'm just going to take care of it. Mark you, I must tell you, the longer your hair is, the more time it takes, the more care you have to give, because it's just long, and it's easy to break, and... Um, my advice to you, don't let anybody put their hand in your hair. Um, it has nothing to do with superstition or so forth. It's just that you've taken a time to grow your hair and you don't want people just being rough with your hair or their nails snag your hair, their ring, jewelry, clothing, etc. You just don't want that. Okay, so and that's one of the reasons why I cut my hair away. Yeah. Let me show you what I do because I think my battery is about to die. How it looks shrunken because it's been in here for about a month now. This is the one I just did. See how elongated it is, how stretched it is. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna spritz my hair with my conditioning water, and I'm also. Going to, I have some rice water. I put it in this Eve Guava Jelly <laughs> jar. Uh, don't judge me. <laughs> and I'm going to apply the rice water to my hair. It has protein. And if you guys are interested in finding out how I made this rice water, then hit me up. Leave a comment about it. Um, I can do a separate video. Or, I'm gonna be using my root oil on top of it because protein can protein can dry out the hair, guys. So I'm not up for that. I've used it before and it can make the hair feel dry. So I'm gonna do like a kind of hot oil treatment. My trusty must be back here. I'm 
gonna put this on. Right? And I have my scarf. And I'm gonna do on my bonnet and use my body heat to trap use my body to trap the heat in there I'm gonna leave this on for about half an hour to an hour and I'll come back to be hella long yeah so this is the do grow this is the do grow uh, mega thick intense repair Rebuilding thickening treatment. I like do grow. Can you stop focusing? <clears throat> it's trying to focus on me. Yeah. And uh, this is what I have left in there. So I've had this about two and a half, three months. Yeah. So I've got one. This is the last use. And then I'll have to get another one. Oh. All right, guys, so I placed the deep conditioner in my hair for about 20 minutes and placed the plastic bag over my head, a scarf, and then the bonnet. So I could use my own body heat to steam it and I did a deep treatment well I try to do a deep treatment um, every time I have a wash day because my wash day is stretched uh, or my wash days are stretched I don't wash every week every two weeks sometimes every month but mostly every two months or three months um, well I haven't gone three months yet but two months and some days or weeks uh, right so now what I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using the Apergy Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner and it's smooth and detangles improves body and shine and protects against heat well I'm not gonna be using heat in my hair but Apergy is a very good uh, product the line is good so why not so I'm going to spray this into my hair and leave it in. So I'm making sure the root gets it so it's not feeling dry. And then I spray the length of my hair with the leave-in conditioner. This is what the mix. I have it in an old do grow um, container. Um, it's kind of melting now, so that's what it looks like. Um, I keep it on the refrigerator because I want it to maintain its structure, which is solid and also. Excuse me. And also, I want the cooling, that cooling sensation it gives because it's cold and then it has menthol in there. So, what I'm doing now is applying it to a section of my hair. Hey guys, so I'm going to be using some of my growth oil on the length of my hair. And that's where, and then I'm gonna be sealing in the oil and leave-in conditioner. I mean, it can leave your hair. Um, it leaves your hair feeling wild. And it does take some time to grow, uh, not to grow to dry well my hair does yeah and I'm 
make sure that the ends I concentrate on the ends and guys a disclaimer I'm not an expert when it comes to hair or anything like that I can only speak uh, on what works for my hair um, personally personally and what I do uh, to my hair is not typical the results I get is not typical for everyone okay all right so I'm gonna be using this amount <laughs> I'm gonna be using this amount of shape butter on the hair length itself. Um, I find when I do this, um, I don't use shea butter on my scalp at all because shea butter, the raw shea butter, is protein itself and I don't know my scalp is sensitive to protein like that especially from shea butter um, I can't say for anything else Ooh. so it makes my scalp itchy so I don't use it all on my scalp it's on my oh guys my scalp feels so awesome quickly pin it this side to this side this side to this side and put on my satin scarf my bonnet so thank you guys for joining me again today if you have not subscribed please go and hit that red subscribe button please turn it gray smash it turn it gray join the family uh oh yeah and most importantly hit the notification bell click all so you'll be notified when I upload all my videos leave a comment like share awesome guys see you in the next video comment if you want me to continue to do some more hair vlogs my wash day routine which was today but i couldn't show you how i wash my hair because the bathroom is kind of very very small and cramped and it's just awkward or uh, other than that i can show you how i make my uh, so for it hair oil uh, my what else oh my hair my growth oil and uh, yeah let's start a journey together to get our hair to waist length um, for those of you who your hair shorter than mine and you want to get your hair to bra strap length why not join the family let's do it together and guys if you're interested in um, going on this 15 day hair journey then leave a comment in the comment section I will tell you the products that you will need and I will go day by day and you'll see so we'll do day one day two day one and two will be uploaded together three and four five and six seven and eight so um, yeah and we'll see